Hi, my name is Kevin Keenahan from Coric, and today I'm just going to give you an uh, uh, overview of the Trimble Perspective um, software for scanning with your X7. Um, so today I'm just going to create I created a project called Coric. So if I just go in and edit that, so when you actually create a new project in Perspective, you give it a name. You can actually take a photo with your T10 tablet or you can choose an existing photo and in here it'll give me the date and time when the project was done and I can update it or I can cancel it. Uh, once that's created you can see that I've already 20 scan stations in here. I have 20 uh, imagery data to go with the 20 scans and I have one group, one lot of scan data. And in here I have the date and time when it was done. So I just double click on that, open it up. Once it opens up, it goes into my plan screen and then I just show you a couple of icons here on the left and a couple of icons on the right. So when I open up my uh, scan station here, it was done in, in our office. Uh, up here at the top, you have your 3D. Once you open up your 3D, you have actually rotated around here. You can flick the view. Okay, going along here. You can also zoom extends unselect that and then zoom extends it goes back to your plan view as well and here is what you want to see so if you want to see all the data see none of the data see your stations just see your scans it's all in this eye and in here you have your different layer features so in here if I have all my scan on so that's all my scan and this is kind of the frame of the scan so you can see in here the outlines so the outline of the buildings and the cars. So I'll go back into my layer again, click on the full scans. And then in here is what you want to see on and off. So you have your stations on and off. You can see my annotations are still on. If I want to turn off my annotations, I can turn them off here as well. Turn them back on. And then um, in here, I have my scan color, grayscale, true color, color intensity, registration, set color. So even if I went to uh, grayscale, you can see it's gone into grayscale there. The minute I move it around, it'll go back into my views at the top. And so I'll go back into my layers, and the last one here, the last two, is the dark in the background. So you can see the imagery, you can see a lot better with the grayscale. And if I go back into layers, I can turn on off the wireframe. And my bottom left here, it'll be just the scan, what I was looking at, so I can flick from cloud to cloud. So if I went into 18 here, I'm out in the car park. You can see the scan the cars, all the blacktop. There's the Coric office. And you can see here there's an annotation here called entrance. So I can actually select that even in that view. Uh, view the details. And you can actually see uh, the data. So if I click in here, go over to annotations. You can see that this entrance annotation, this one here, I can turn around and off. I can drop it down. I can uh, move it central into the screen. I can see it in the map view. And I can get the details. So there's just a picture of, a, a, of an SX10. Okay, and I can click in the view as well and see that the view is shown where the annotation is. Okay, I can edit that at any stage as well. Um, so I just go back out of the annotation. So that's one of my icons. There's my stations there. In here I can add in my labels, I can click down, go in, it'll flick down into this is my scan 20 here. You can see that uh, I can go into my map view, I can register all the data and see all the color and the data with it. Next one is the annotations like we just saw. So even if I wanted to see the training room, it'll pop up with a picture of my X7. I click into the view and then there's our training room there. Uh, if I go out of that and go into my ruler, in my ruler here I have different types of features so I can measure features. So even if I went into this wall here and pick maybe um, an X and Y, so if I select here, select here, it'll give me the distance value there. And all, and when I do my ceiling, I can click on the ceiling here, the floor, and give me my floor here. Okay, and that'll store in my um, measurements and I can actually delete them there and then as well. So this is uh, your notification. So when you start scanning and you scan to scan, uh, you go three, two, one. 
it'll come up here a notification saying that it's registration, it's logged in, and it's uh, sending the data over from the scanner to your um, controller. So if I go back in here and change just the screen back again to my white screen, and maybe what I'll do is change the color back into uh, color code intensity. And this last one down here, is if I click on that, that's my elevation range. So I can actually go up and down, select a region there, see there, and literally go up and down through the building. You can also lock that in, and it stays there locked in. So you can go in through, up and down, and lock that range for you as well. Okay, and you can unlock that, change that, and then I'm back onto my main screen here. And that's just a brief little overview of uh, Trimble Perspective. Thanks. Bye.